Hey everybody, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. We are here today, we're going to be cooking up a storm, we're going to be stealing recipes, we're going to be sticking it to our fellow chefs as we unbox the Rival Restaurants expansion, Back, back for Seconds. seconds. Hello everyone, welcome back. As I said, or as you should know by now, my name is Matt, and this as always is our junior Charlotte. gamer, Charlotte, our we junior don't have gamer. We don't have Blair today, she's having a nap, and fair enough too, because we're getting into some games that are a little bit bigger for her. Uh, actually, we're not getting into some games, are we? They're not, they're not games, we're doing a couple of videos back to back today while we've got the we're time. We're gonna try and do two. Uh, these are going to be mini unboxings today, mm -hmm. not of main games, as you would have saw, uh, seen in the lead in. I should use proper English because we should use the Queen's English, why not? Today we're taking a look at the expansion for the ever popular rival restaurants back for seconds. Now this is the expansion. That's right, it's a small box expansion which adds new chefs, new recipes, new action cards to mess with your fellow chefs and um, ways to basically amass your points and become the winner faster. Now winner is a pun, I mean winner, uh, but in the game of rival restaurants you strive to be the winner. Uh, first to 20 points wins. Um, there's action cards in here, uh, extra chefs, extra restaurants, extra cuisines to cook with. Daddy? Yes, darling. Look. No. Yeah, that... that's the company name, Gap Closer Games, who have put this one together. Uh, we really like Rival Restaurants. It's something we haven't played a lot of, only because it's a game that is allowable, uh, playable by two to eight players. So I think it's better with a larger player count. What do you think? Yep. Because you can call, cause more mayhem because you all play at the same time. Uh, if you haven't checked out the unboxing for the main game, check that out on our channel. Uh, Charlotte is very keen. We are going to take the plastic off this one. Uh, and then we're going to get in and show you what it's all about. We do have another little something something that we're going to be working on today as well. But you'll see that in the next video. Um, but yeah, I, think, I don't know which one you're more excited for, but we'll talk about that. Uh, a bit later okay. on. This is our first video for 2021. Charlotte, the plastic goes yeah. on the floor in a very aggressive way. <laughs> I like that. Let's get down close and we'll show you what's in the box on this one. All right, let's get into it and show you what's in the box. Here it is. This is the Rival Restaurants Back for Seconds expansion box, Gap Closer Games. Uh, you can see here there's already a couple of new chefs here. The artwork in the game is quite cool, isn't it? It's like a nice cartoony sort of style. Yeah. Um, it's so smooth. It is. It's a nice textured finish on the box, which is great. Charlotte's going to unlid this one for you. That's a term I'm stealing from Board Game Coffee, but uh, it's more of an homage and a compliment than anything else. How do you think, Charlotte? What do you reckon about that one? Opened well, doesn't it? Yeah. Good job. Oh, put it to the side. I know they're cooking up chicken or something. Let's put this to the side. Right, let's put this, in right I'll put this one down here so we can see the box. There we go. We'll try and get through because there's not going to be a lot of stuff in this one. It's going to be more of a mini unboxing. This is the expansion rule books. Now, I believe uh, when the guys put this together in the initial um, uh, version of the game, they allowed for the expansion components in the box. So you can put it all in one box and get rid of this one if you want to. But you know me, I like to keep everything because I'm a completionist, uh, which also means we have like absolutely no space whatsoever in the game's <laughs> cupboard. Uh, so the rules there, uh, nice clean artwork, a bit of story about how it all sort of um, comes about, uh, a bit of a... <laughs> A bit of a restaurant, uh, a reference, uh, a restaurant, well, I suppose it's appropriate to um, yeah. Avengers Affinity War with the Infinity Gauntlet and Avocado as the time stone, which is very cool. Um, then you've got all the different components. There's event stand, there. so you know what current event cards are happening. Well, there's some. Yep, new restaurants and things. There's a Greek restaurant as well. What's new? How you set up well, differently. Look, here's the people. And there's all the different chefs there as well, which is very, very cool. And there's different event cards that happen. Um, throughout the course of the days yeah, that play as well. Now these are new ones. They're now usable at the island, different recipe books. Rather than actually having to put them in your restaurant, you can put them on, on the actual uh, boards as well. Let's have a look and see what's in the restaurant side. You know, there's going to be a lot of other boards there as well. Ooh, look. We love <gasps> baggies. Baggies are great. Look. Yeah, that's a new chef's and event stand. We can punch that one out, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, there's two. Look, there's two. Yeah, so this one here folds that way, 
I have got this for you. Yeah, I'll put it in the kitchen. We'll have a look at the chefs as well. So this is one of our new chef tokens standees. That was one thing the base game did too. The standees, the actual holders themselves, are very, very high quality. Yeah. Hang on, let's put this one here. She means business with that rolling pin. Nasty. Thank you. That's for the event. Uh, standy, so you can hold your event cards up high. Everyone knows what's going on. I'm just putting it together for you so you can see how it looks when it's all assembled and then an event card would sit in here. We'll find that event card later. Hang on, Charlotte, slow down. Let's bring them all in so we can see what they look like. There's our next dude there with a bit of a pot belly, but that's okay. He looks like he means business. What have we got there? different cuisines. We're not really sure what they uh, uh, all relate to. I think the different chefs just have different abilities and things too, which is cool. Put that to the side. Pop that in there for me. We'll get these ones out as well. We weren't going to necessarily pop these guys out, but we have. Oh, apple pie. Nice. Oh, cheese with a spatula. Let's see this guy. Either. This lady here looks nice and sweet and innocent, but I reckon she's got a few tricks up her sleeve because each of the chefs have their own special ability as well. Yeah. Yeah. which you can use during the course of certain uh, aspects of the game, whether it's um, money and move or buy and barter or cook, cook and counter, I should say. Baggies for storage, which is awesome. Extra standies. These are the standies that we were talking about, wasn't it, Charlotte? There's a London one. Yeah, an English one. So the standies here are very cool. They like to hold uh, all the bits. You actually have to press the base of them. Or so if you push the base here, they open up and you can actually fit the standees in there. Nice, high quality, which is awesome. So we'll put the standees in there. I don't think we need the plastic bag for those. Tap, please. Thank you. And then we've got cards, but let's go through the restaurants first, Charlotte. Let's have a look and see what we've got there. So let me just put those ones there. So there's um, a London Queen one with the... Yeah. At Roast and Crown British Pub, an old style British pub, a la Pig and Whistle here in Australia, which has been very popular. Yeah, they've got the same things at the at the Yeah, oh, the different endorsements and upgrades you can get for all your different restaurants there, celebrity endorsements, etc. Like and see when you get to twenty points you become the wiener. So we weren't just telling a fib. And we've got here, so what's the next one? This one is a spooky house one, I think. <laughs> That's like a, a Gretel, Hansel and Gretel style thing. German mm. uh, German restaurant. Mmm, yummy. All right, next we've got the Greek one. A zero to hero, or a gyro. Euros to heroes. Greek cafe. Uh, second to naan. I love that. That's so good. Indian street fair. Second to naan. Oh. I want to be the Indian. Oh, rum for your life. Jamaican. Jamaican beach grill. It's like watermelons and all sorts of cool stuff. <gasps> and Munchu Ichu, Peruvian restaurant. That's a bit like um, Emperor's New Groove, where they go to that restaurant to try and find uh, um, Cusco. <laughs> That's a, a bit of a Disney reference for those of you following along at home. We'll put those there. Then we've got some cards. So let's separate these Party out. Cards. The new event cards are there. We've got new recipes. Uh, gourmet recipes. Are these all gourmet recipes? Put them down, Charlotte, for me. Gourmet recipe, gourmet recipe. More, lots, lots of gourmet recipes. My goodness, there's quite a few, which is good. I think there's more than the other one, Daddy. No, there isn't. Not quite. Not quite, but there's there's a quite a few, and they're all got different um, uh, recipes based on the different folks. We'll go through the chef. So this chef's back is all the same. Uh, and then you've got here uh, Abuela Saltara, uh, the ancient one. She has a secret family recipe ability. And you can always just um, pause the video if you want to read the actual bits and pieces. She's a coupon clipper, Dolly Butterscotch. See, look, she's a dairy godmother. Crazy stuff up her sleeves. Frida Berzella, the hammer of Hamburg. You not cook now. So, yeah, I was right. That rolling pin means business. Uh, Kelly Carbapore, the Spice Girl. Bizarre tactics. Our oh, Lord Prescott Worthington the Third, His Majesty, into Game of Scones. Then you've got uh, Peter Pokadopoulos, the Greek gastronomer. Reggae Tony, not just Tony. He's Reggae Tony. He's the pastafarian into island living. Uh, Tien Tu Nguyen, crazy rich Southeast Asian. Take a shelfie. And that's all the different chefs for this one. Then we've got here. 
the action cards that are on display. So here we've got Charlotte, we've got Trojan Course, which allows you to immediately uh, play this card after you trade. Take back everything you gave the other player and keep what you received. Recipes excluded. Ouch. Bangers and Smash, which looks like some sort of alien cooking goo. Blintzkrieg. Buyer's Remorse. Dumpster Fire. That looks a bit nasty. Early Bird getting the worm. A Picky Eater. I don't want onions on my burgers. A shell Shucker. The Walking Bread. And then the Trojan Course again. Uh, then we've got here the events card. So the events cards are new and they sit on that, oops, on the display just so everyone knows what's happening uh, during the course of a turn. So all players this turn must go to Mystery Mark, Daddy? for example. Yes, darling. Um, those, t the, that, that one, that one, that one are from the, the first box. That one, that one, and that one. They are. Those guys are all from the same one. It looks a little bit like Abbey Road as well, which is very cool. Uh, then you've got here Counter Attack. Um, we've got here Don't Taco About It. She looks like a taco head. Mind your manners. Oh, snap. There you go. That's the Infinity Gauntlet uh, bit. It is inedible as opposed to inevitable. Plates of Glory. Action cards. Ready, set, action. Draw two action cards. Rolling in the dough. Rooting for the under hot dog. <laughs> a lot of tongue-in-cheek puns here. Uh, snack attack. Starch madness. Surge pricing. Uh, sushi no as opposed to sushi go. Take me to your feeder. You may keep any alien goo that you cook with today. Uh, wine scene investigation, so many food puns on shows. I love the events, that's great. And then you get the basic recipes. This is what's going to make us hungry, isn't it? Um, I just want to eat the cards. You can't eat the cards. These are the basic <laughs> ones. Berry trifle from the British restaurant. These ones are bread pudding, fish and chips. Can't go wrong with fish and chips. Only makes a little bit of garbage as well because everyone eats. Uh, Carto feffel puffer. Uh, garbage. Yeah, liver Carson pretzel. If I'm Too pronouncing garbage. this wrong, please let me know. Rote grutzer, spatzel. We got beef dolma, chicken eros, um... falafels, pita chips at hummus, spacos oriso, garlic naan, Indian food, ildivara samba, sag paneer, some samosas. No garbage for the samosas. Aki and salt fish. Yum. Calico, Jamaican rum cake, jerk chicken, oh my goodness, plantains with beans and rice. Then you've got japche, uh, empanadas, uh, polo a la brasa, that's chicken, uh, salt chippers, and then berry trifle. Again, now those are the basic ones. The gourmet ones are usually a bit more involved, and there are more gourmet recipes, and there are basic ones looking at this. So you've got hot pot. Uh, these are French ones, molten chocolate souffle. So these ones are actually relating to not just the restaurants in this box, but also restaurants in the base game as well. Uh, apple strudel, bratwurst and sauerkraut, schween schnitzel, so pork schnitzel, pork souvlaki with tzatziki, spanakopita, yum, <gasps> lasagna, Charlotte's favourite. She loves lasagna. That card's going to go missing. Oops. The card's going to go in. I know. Head. What have we done here? We've mixed things up a little bit. Avocado toast. I love this. Avocado toast. Avocado on toast. Very simple. Look at the garbage it generates. You just need it generates avocado five. and toast. F yeah, I know, but it's avocado and toast. It generates five bags of garbage. That's because they cost so much. Bangers and mash. Beef Wellington. Yum. The beef Wellington generates less garbage than avo on toast. There you go. All you hipsters out there. Goodness gracious. Cottage pie. Sunday roast. Tikka masala. Daddy. Pani Puri chart, yes. Yeah. Oh, tandoori chicken, yum. To, um, go to all these restaurants that have the... I think we need to order out and just not cook tonight. I think we need to make sure. See, a bento box is just fantastic. So we don't have to spend all the money. Pasta, pasta, yeah. Chicken enchiladas for Mexican, yum. Ceviche. Uh, Krupsi chamrons. Lomo saltado. Uh, Mi jargon. And then the hot pot again. I think we're back at the beginning. Wow, lots of crazy, crazy recipes to cook and ingredients to track down for them. And that is pretty much all there is in the box. We'll come out and give some final thoughts on this one uh, and go from there. 
So there you have it, the contents of the Rival Restaurants Back for Seconds expansion. Lots of new content, lots of bit of crazy actions and cards. Mm -hmm. Actually more than I expected for the expansion. Um, this is, uh, I think, six different restaurants, eight chefs. So obviously quite a lot of variety. The base game has more chefs than there are players, so you can mix and match. Uh, and then obviously all the different recipes that have come into play as well. Shuffling them all together uh, will be quite spectacular as again? well. Yes, darling, go for it. I really wonder what back for seconds in ex this expansion really means. I know back for seconds and then... Well, let me put it this way, if you are having dinner and you're having, so say Christmas, we just had Christmas Day, um, you had your first course of salmon and other bits and pieces on your plate, and if you're going back for seconds, you're going to load your plate up again and go back for more, whether it's meat or ham or whatever the case was. And Charlotte doesn't really like to go back for seconds when it comes to mains or dinner or anything else. But when it comes to snacks and chocolates and biscuits and everything else, she'll go back for seconds, thirds, fourths, fifteenths as well. Weren't you done? <laughs> but that's what happens. Blair will um, move for 100. Blair is a bit of a chocolate monster. We will give her that. Um, back for seconds looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. We look forward to getting it out to the table and okay. seeing it fun. I know there's a bit of a, a, a lava monster, Ooh, a pizza monster. monster. There's walking bread, which we saw as well on the, on the outside of the box, which Ooh, is awesome. Monsters and fruit. Lots of tongue-in-cheek humour, uh, lots of pop culture references as well. Um, but look, I mean, there's more to it than that. If you have played with this expansion, who's your favourite chef? Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, folks, as always, uh, please stay in touch and uh, we'll see you back at the table. Oh, before we do that, we need to thank some people, don't we? Uh, to our Patreon subscribers, thank you very much for all of your support and unconditional support and love. Uh, to our Gamer Army, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, to the store and also to Patreon as well. We really appreciate all of your support that allows us and inspires us to do all these videos and provide you with some amazing content. Uh, as I mentioned, or as I, if I haven't already mentioned, my apologies, you can always reach out to us at orders at hpgaming.com.au uh, and you'll be able to hit us up if you have any questions and don't want to put them publicly below. Otherwise, folks, jump on the website hbgaming.com.au and we'll be able to get in touch and send you some amazing goodies as well. Uh, just a reminder, too, our patrons are all getting express shipping for free because they're awesome and we love them very much. Uh, we're going to get into something new. Uh, until then, folks, by all means, get back to the table, keep playing games, and if you are around the rest of the world, not just in Australia, all our international viewers, please stay safe. Uh, please look after yourselves and each other, and our thoughts and prayers are with you as always. Uh, thank you very much, folks. We'll see you back at the table very soon. Until then, it's bye, bye for now. now.